Rahu is not bad and Rahu is not good. Rahu is just a smoke and a smoke is a smoke. There is nothing good or bad about smoke. A smoke has no substance of its own. It comes and goes. It never lasts. Illusions never last because illusions never existed. Rahu is your illusion and all desires are born out of illusions. Rahu therefore gives birth to desires, burning desires that drive you crazy until you realize what an ass you have made of yourself. The state of desire is Rahu which leads you to many illusions and miseries. The state of desirelessness is Ketu which leads you to the ultimate truth, God. Desire constitute illusion and desirelessness is God, says the Bhagwan, Bhagwan Raman Maharshi. The journey of life begins from Rahu, that is from desires, and this eternal cycle of birth and rebirth ends only when you move from desires to the state of desirelessness, the state of Buddha. Until then, the journey of many desires, that is births and rebirths, continues. The placement of Rahu in a specific nakshatra simply signifies the nature of your desire, the quality of your desire. This book will help you understand how your Rahu is, so that you start taking the necessary efforts. The sole purpose of my new book, Revealing Rahu in 27 Nakshatras, is to bring awareness to you because life starts changing only when you become aware, when you start turning inwards. Today, on this auspicious day of Akshay Trutiya, and what a coincidence, today is also Eid. And on this day, the very first set of copies have arrived as you can see on your screen and I would like to see that the book reaches only to those who deserves and so I have limited stock it is necessary to understand that Rahu is the problem and so it is necessary that you spend more time and energy in understanding the problem Albert Einstein says if I had an hour to solve a problem, I would spend 55 minutes thinking about the problem and 5 minutes thinking about solution. This wonderful book, Revealing Rahu in 27 Nakshatras, shares many insights that help you understand Rahu and once you understand the shades of Rahu, you will be able to overcome Rahu. Many of you have read my first book on Rahu, How to Overcome Rahu. It became a bestseller. And now in this book, you will find answers to questions such as, What happens when Rahu Mahadasha begins? How to live during Rahu Mahadasha? What results did you get when Rahu falls in a specific nakshatra? And what are the remedies for overcoming Rahu? In this book, I have also specifically mentioned remedies for black magic. Because there are many negative men and women who may do black magic on you or who may be doing black magic on you and you may not even be aware of it. But by reading this book, you will start getting many insights through which you can overcome these black magic spells that your enemies have cast upon you. 
always remember while going through the many miseries of life do not blame god because god is the ultimate fragrance of your consciousness god is consciousness and consciousness never meddles in the affair of your life nisargadatt maharaj says the beingness the consciousness is the god which witnesses the life force and mind working it does not interfere it merely witnesses the reason for your unhappiness is that you think it is you who are working if god consciousness never interferes in your life how can god help you that must be your next question god can help you only when you bring awareness to your being when you become conscious of your actions when you start making efforts to expand your consciousness the most effective way to overcome rahu that is your desires is by expanding your consciousness and awareness and this is possible only when you start meditating when you start chanting srila prabhupada of iskon says what cannot be achieved through the performance of vedic rituals can be easily achieved through the chanting of the lord's holy name everything is possible in this human life my fellows the larger question is whether you are willing to take the efforts whether you are willing to go beyond the mind remember there are only three mysteries life death and love and all these three are beyond mind rahu is the north node of the moon moon is your mind rahu is the north node is determined to turn your mind outward whereas ketu is the south node of the moon ketu the south node is determined to turn your mind inwards as long as your mind is focused on the outward miseries will continue to flow in your life happiness will be short lived because your whole idea of happiness is based on the outside world it is only when you start turning inwards when you take efforts in pushing your mind inwards that you truly start walking on the path of enlightenment and when you truly attain enlightenment don't stop and start moving beyond enlightenment too first go beyond the mind then go beyond enlightenment too don't get stuck anywhere until you are simply an ordinary part of existence with trees with the birds with the animals with the rivers with the mountains you feel a deep harmony no superiority no inferiority in the following chapters of this wonderful book as you read more and if you are a soul seeking the spiritual path then you will resonate with the many deep insights shared in this book which in itself is a blessing of the compassionate divine master and so my fellows now at his behest and his divine order i offer this book to all my insightful readers and followers who also are blessed souls because to resonate with the sharing of this book to resonate with my sharing on this podcast you truly need to have the blessings the love and the understanding which only comes through the divine grace of the compassionate master hari om tat sat hari om tat sat hari om tat sat stay blessed and remember to meditate and chant the holy mantra om gam ganapatai namaha Om Gam Ganapatai Namaha 
ओम गम गणपत नम एवरी मॉर्निंग एंड इवनिंग फॉर अ मिनिमम ऑफ ट्वेंटी मिनिट्स यूजिंग अ स्पटिक जपमाला द बेस्ट मीन्स ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल रियलाइजेशन इज चैंटिंग द होली नेम कंट्रोलिंग द वेवरिंग माइंड इज ओनली पॉसिबल थ्रू चैंटिंग फोकस ऑन चैंटिंग चैंट विथ लव एंड डिवोशन एंड यू विल डेफिनेटली प्रोग्रेस ऑन योर मटेरियल एज वेल एज स्पिरिचुअल पाथ हंड्रेड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ फॉर्चुनेट सोल्स हैव प्रोग्रेस्ड बाय चैंटिंग यू कैन ऑल्सो प्रोग्रेस रिमेंबर एवरी लॉन्ग जर्नी बिगेन्स विथ अ स्मॉल स्टेप let the journey within begin the book is still available with me you can always reach to me on whatsapp love to all my listeners and followers jai shri ganesha jai guru ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम